In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the minimum number in an array in C. So let's say we've got an array and the exact type doesn't totally matter. Like it could be an int or double or float, but we're going to go with int and more or less the same logic will work with int and float and double. So we'll say int and we'll say my array is equal to, and we'll put some integers in array. We'll say like five, nine, 10, 11, you know, four, three, eight, six, and seven. So we've got a bunch of numbers in an array here, and three is the minimum number in that array. So if I want to find the minimum number in that array, one way we can do this is we can say, let's keep track of the minimum number we've found in the array so far. And then we have a loop, check all the numbers in the array. And so long as we keep track of the minimum number we've found so far, by the time we actually finish looping through the array, we'll have identified the minimum number because we'll have checked all of them. So here's what we mean. We can say like int min, and we'll declare some minimum that we're going to keep track of. That's going to be the minimum that we're going to be keeping track of. And it's kind of like the minimum so far. And what we'll do is we'll say that min is initially going to be my array at zero. And what we're doing here is we're saying, let's assume for now that the first thing in the array is the smallest thing in the array. And we're just going to make that assumption for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a loop. So I'm going to say for, I'm going to say int i is equal to zero, i is less than, and we'll make it the length of this array. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine things in the array. I'll say less than nine. Then I'm going to say i plus plus. And so this is going to check every element in the array. And what we're going to do is we're going to see, we're going to see if that number is less than our current minimum number. And if it is, we're going to make that the new minimum number. So we're going to say here, if min, or we're, sorry, we're going to say if my array at I is less than min, then make min equal to my array at I make that the new minimum number. And then what we could do is we could then print out the minimum number at the end here. So we could say min minimum, we'll say percent D slash N and we'll print out min. And so if we run this here, we'll get that the minimum number is three. And that makes sense based on what we've got here. If I change like eight to one, then recompile it and run it again, we find the new minimum number is one. And so it appears to be working. So now there's a couple things we could do to make this better. So one thing is I started off my loop going from zero until nine, incrementing by one. And I did that because nine is the length of the array here. Now, one thing about this is that I don't really need to check zero, right? I don't really need to check that my array at zero is less than min because, you know, if that's the case, then it doesn't make any sense because we, we just set min to my array at zero, right? This can't really be the case that for when I is zero, that my array at zero is gonna be less than min because we just set it to that. So I can actually start I off at one and it's gonna be just as accurate as it was before. It'll find the same minimum number no matter what. I can make this zero here, for example, and it'll still work. It'll still find the correct minimum number. It'll be zero now, right? So I don't really need to check that first value in the array because I'm already starting with that as my assumed minimum number and I'm checking all of the minimum numbers as we go. And and you can see how the algorithm works. Like if, if ever you're, you're coding and you're trying to figure out like how does my algorithm work, one thing you can always do is just throw in a ton of printfs. So just throw in lots of printfs to figure out how something's going to work. So with this here, what we could do is we could throw in a printf and we could say like printf and we'll say new min found percent d and we'll print out min. And here we'll print f and we'll say checking and we'll say maybe my array percent d is equal to percent d. And then we'll print out i and we'll print out my array. So we'll print out i and we'll print out my array at i. And what this will do here, maybe I can make it bigger again. Yeah, I can make it bigger again. Um, we'll, we'll make it so that we print out what my array at i is, and we're gonna print out whenever we find a new minimum. And we'll, maybe we'll start off with some new numbers here. So, so I'll say here like five, 
and yeah, we'll do this. This should be okay. So let's just let's just output this just to see what we get. So here we see, you know, checking my array at one is nine, checking my array at two is 10, checking my array at three is 11. And you can see that we're checking like nine, 10, 11, and so forth. We don't, we don't check the first one because we're skipping over it because we already said that that's the minimum. And here, when we reach four, we find a new minimum. It says new min found. So we know that we've entered into this if statement here, right? And, and that's, you know, letting us know this with this printf here, with this output here, it's letting us know that we entered into this if and we found a new minimum. And it makes sense that we found a new minimum when, you know, my array at four is equal to four because we started off with five as the minimum. So four would be the first thing that's less than it. Uh, and then we check my array at five, which is three. And that makes sense that that would also be a new minimum because it's less than four. And then we check one. And we, that makes sense that that would also be a new minimum because one is less than three and on and on, right? And so anytime you're, you're kind of trying to figure out how some kind of algorithm works or how your code works, throwing in printfs and just outputting your, your values that you're, that you're going through, say in an array or outputting, you know, what some if statement has identified, this can be a great way to help you figure out what's going on in your code. So, okay, so we'll, we'll get rid of these things here now because we're confident that we've got the, the basic algorithm right here. Now, one thing we might want to do is we might want to put this inside a function. So that way we can call the function to find the minimum value whenever we want it. So if I want to do that, I'll put a, well, we'll put the function uh, definition up here. I'm going to say find min and I'm going to say int array. And then I'm going to say int length. And then down here, we'll make our function body look like this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take this logic here and we're going to put it inside the function. So that way we can kind of call this whenever we need it. So I can call find minimum for maybe different arrays and find the minimum for, for each array. Uh, and I, I called it array here instead of my array. So I'm just going to change these to be array instead of my array. And then what we'll do is we'll return the minimum value here. So what I've got here now is a function find min that's going to take in an array as an argument and a integer length as an argument. And it's going to uh, set min equal to the first element in the array again. It's going to loop from one until I'm going to say the length of the array, the length of the array. So that way I can give it arrays of different length and it'll still, still find the minimum value. And it's going to keep doing our algorithm where we just keep on checking the values in the array. If we find a new minimum, make that the new minimum. And we're going to return the minimum. So I've got this function here now that should be pretty generalizable now. I should be able to call it for different arrays. So what I could do is we could have like my array one and then I'll make like my array two and I'll make this like a different length. I'll say like two, five, nine, two, five, four, three, and I'll say maybe zero here at the end. And I could say like, maybe we'll find the minimum for both now. So we'll say like int min one is equal to find min and we'll call the function with my array one and we'll give it the length nine. I could say int min two, we'll say find min my array two and we'll give it length. What do we have here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And then we'll print out, we'll say like min one and min two. We'll print out the minimum from each array, min one and min two. So we'll say min one, min two. We'll output both those things. Okay, I'm just going to clear this now because we're kind of on a new thing here. We'll output. We'll we'll run this here. Oops, oh, I forgot a semicolon. Run this again, and I get min one is one. That makes sense. And min two is zero. That makes sense because zero is the minimum there. So now we've got this function that can find a minimum, and it'll find the minimum regardless of um, you know, the, the array length, because we can just give it the length as an argument. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.